Hey guys, today I'm out in my backyard and I'm looking for some springtime invasives in preparation for our virtual weed wrangle. So I wanted to talk about a couple invasives with you today. The first one being garlic mustard. And I have garlic mustard right here in front of me. And you might think these plants look a little bit different and that's because garlic mustard is a biennial plant. And what biennial means is that it takes two years for it to reach maturity or for it to produce seeds. So this is a really great example of first year garlic mustard growth. It only comes up as what we call a basil rosette. And a basil rosette is essentially just these big fanning leaves that grow and stay low to the ground. So this is what the first year garlic mustard looks like. Now the second year version of the plant is this guy. You can see the leaves look a little bit different. It gets a lot taller and most importantly, it produces a flower. So when you're out in your backyard and you see garlic mustard and you're ready to pull it and you have both versions, I would first focus on this guy because this guy is the one that's going to produce seed and it's going to cause the most issues. Once you've identified that you do have garlic mustard in your backyard, the next thing you need to do is work to eradicate it. So what you're going to need is two work gloves and a black trash bag. If you're like me and you have both the first year growth and the second year growth in your backyard, you're going to want to focus on the second year growth because that's the one that's going to produce, be producing seeds and that's going to produce a bigger crop of garlic mustard next year. So the best way to do this is just to use your two hands and a, some hard work. And you're gonna go and grab the plant as close to the bottom, as close to the surface of the ground as you can. And you're just gonna lightly pull it out of the ground. Garlic mustard, if you're ever wondering where the name came from, take a sniff of the root, break off a leaf and take a sniff and it smells like garlic mustard. Some people have made pesto out of this. I haven't tried it personally, but it's kind of a fun fact about the plant. So once you do pull it out of the ground, it's really important that you put it inside a black trash bag or some sort of plastic bag. Because if we were to pull that garlic mustard, so say we were to pull this and say, okay, I've done my duty. I've pulled it out of the ground and I'm just gonna leave it here. This plant can still produce seed. So if you throw it on the ground, you're basically just planting next year's garlic mustard crop. So you have to be sure that you put it in the black trash bag, fill up the bag as much as you can. You're gonna tie it closed and you're gonna basically just let it sit in the sun until the garlic mustard plant has completely died and we know it's not gonna produce any more seed. 